Welcome, my friends, to Shaking the Salt with Dr. Peppers. At the end of the message, stay tuned if you want to contact me for any reason, including prayers. Thank you. And I'm Dr. Peppers, Shaking the Salt. Here we go. One of my nieces, when she was little, was sleeping in after they had just arrived from Washington State. And I said, Denise, how can you sleep so long? And she said, Mommy said, I've got jet legs. I laughed at that because, of course, I knew she meant jet lag. And I did know that they had been up much later, three hours difference from where we are now. And the funniest part about this is we've used this through the years. She's now 40-something, and we still say, oh, I've got jet legs after we've been traveling. For those of you that know, we've been over in Europe, northern Europe, and traveled in six different states. So we really have jet legs coming back. We were not only on a Delta flight going over, but we were then on a... Air Lingus flight. We were on Icelandic air. We were traveling from bus to bus throughout international territories, and it was a whirlwind. And I kept saying, Do we know what we're doing? When we were climbing into an ice cave in Iceland and had to walk on narrow boards across these big gorges filled with rushing water beneath, I thought, Is this the way I'm going to go out? I've lived a life of adventure, and if it had been, I know where I'm going. But let me tell you about another flight. And since today, I don't want to hammer in the horrific parts of the 911 experience, but many of our young people don't even know it, really. They can't experience what those of us who were around and old enough and afraid enough and absolutely disgusted enough with what happened to remember the outcome of a second part of the 911 buildings falling and the Pentagon being bombed. And what about that flight? At 9.59 a.m., as the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapses, there was also something going on And it was a flight that was being hijacked. Not many people knew about this. You could see, of course, on television, and we were all glued to the TV. We remember exactly where we were and what was happening at the time we were told. But in the midst of United 93, passengers' heroic attempts to prevent their flight from being used as a weapon in the ongoing attack against the U.S., here's something that happened. And I got a real good glimpse of this directly from the wife of one of the men who was killed on that flight. I was working in St. Louis on radio at the time, and there was a book out later called Let's Roll, and it was by Lisa Beamer. But what happened at that time is the passengers took on a very selfless act. As they saw what was being happening, at least some people were calling in and telling their loved ones about the World Trade Center collapsing. And by 11 o'clock, New York Mayor had already evacuated Lower Manhattan. But just after noon, 12.15 p.m., The airspace over the U.S. is devoid of any traffic. The only planes in the skies for the rest of that day are Air Force One. But there was one other plane, and that was Flight 93. Who knows where it was headed? You know, there's been speculation that it was going to bomb the Capitol or the White House or one of our other monuments, or maybe it too was headed to the Pentagon. We don't know, but as the terrorist attacks were carrying on, there was one thing happening on that flight, and there was a flight attendant who was relaying this to a woman on the ground when she had called 911. And I'll just use the woman's first name, Betty, But the flight attendant was telling her, I believe we're going down. Someone has been stabbed. There's mace in the air. We can barely breathe. They're in the cockpit now. And from the back of the plane, all they heard was two words, let's roll. 
And that was from Todd Beamer, who evidently had taken on the capacity of helping to form all of the other men and women who were going to just completely take over these terrorists. When you have a hundred people running toward you and mobbing you and pulling you down in the aisles, you don't have a choice. Even if you do have knives or guns or bombs or mace, you're going down right now before this can accomplish that mission that you wanted to happen. And that's what they did. Todd Beamer, and that was the husband of Lisa Beamer that I got to interview on radio, he was the one that said, let's roll. And they rushed toward those who were trying to take over the cockpit, and they got them to the ground, and this mission went down, but it was not accomplished in the way the terrorists expected. These people were all heroes in the sight of those of us just watching because they all gave their lives for perhaps thousands, maybe even millions who would be killed somewhere else according to the purpose of the terrorism. I think of this, of course, every year, but I think of it often as I thumb through some of my favorite books, and there's a book out by Lisa Beamer called Let's Roll, and she's interviewed almost every year on national television. It was her husband. It was the daddy of their children, and we can't even imagine what that was like. We knew the horror and the terror of what we saw but to have a loved one, and some of you maybe did, either in the trade center or on the plane or on the ground or whatever happened, even the firefighters and the police officers and those who were rushing in to help the nurses and the doctors, and yet they got there to help at the World Trade Center, and there was no one to help. When we think of that, I can't help but think as I fly every time, and this was a long flight that we had, and I do still have jet legs, but I can't help but think, what about that final day when we're headed toward that final event of our own lives? You know, the Bible says it's appointed unto a man once to die, and then the judgment. And the part that we forget is that there is judgment We keep thinking, well, we're all going to die one day, and we can stand over the grave of a family or friend and say, oh, I hope they're in heaven now. We can know whether we're going to be in heaven or not. My friend, no matter how old you are, no matter what you're doing, whether you're flying or taking risks like climbing over boards into an ice cave in Iceland, as we did a couple of weeks ago, when your final day comes, there will be only one that you will have to give an account to. And there will be one question, why should I let you into heaven? And the answer is simple, because I trusted in Jesus Christ as my Savior. And God will say, well done, good and faithful servant, enter into the gates. But if not, we will hear those dreaded words, I never knew you. Father God, I pray for the one that is listening right now, that if they have never trusted in Christ as their Savior, let it not take a devastation like 911, or even a tiredness like having jet lag, or even any other event in fear to come to you, but just to try, God, to know that if there is one that so loved the world, He gave his only begotten son, and that is Jesus Christ, our Savior. Thank you, God, for giving him for us, that we do not have to die, but that we might have life abundantly now and eternally with you. And that's all you have to do, my friend, is to receive Christ as your Savior. What have you got to lose? Why don't you just give it a try and say, okay, God, I'm going to step out in faith and I'm going to trust that Christ died for me and I'm asking him to be Lord of my life and I want to live for him and I want eternal life. And the answer to you, my friend, is yes. Well done, good and faithful servant. God bless you, my friends, and let's not forget the men and women who gave their lives so selflessly, 2001, 9-11, a time we'll never forget. 
And there is a God who will never forget as well. I'm Dr. Pepper, shaking the salt. Thanks for staying on, my friend. If you would like to contact me, visit saltandlightministry.com. If you want to share your story with me, ask a question, have me come speak to your group, or maybe just request prayer. Once again, saltandlightministry.com. Thanks and God bless.